Welcome back, everybody. And I do talk about the MiG-15 a lot. I do like playing the German one over my Russian one, just because this was actually the first 15 bis that I started playing. It's extremely good jet, accelerates very well. It turns relatively well at lower speeds, tends to lock up at the higher speeds. But one thing you'll notice here on the stat card is how much ammunition do I have? 200 rounds total. I bring the rockets for flares, and I'm going to forget about them. It creates a little bit of drag, but this is probably the best dogfighter in-game at its BR. Granted, there are other things that are around this BR now that have missiles, may turn a little bit better, but generally don't have the acceleration that the MiG-15 does. MiG-15 BIS is the same exact thing as the Russian MiG-15 BIS. Cool thing about this one, though, is it gets the much better skin which as of right now I do not have, because it's like a uh, four gaijin. But look at that. Isn't that just amazing? But let's go ahead and take her out. Now, they added in more ordnance later on in the game, which, yeah, I just never unlocked those. So, But yeah, take it out, figure I'm doing some age area jets, maybe something that people who are new to the game are still playing, that I can watch and say, okay, I can see what this can do. Now, you see, a previous video with the Sea Vixen where I was outrunning a MiG-15 BIS, because I know about a thousand kilometers an hour is where they top out at, and they'll tend to break their wings if they go over that. The Sea Vixen can go up to like 1100 and it has pretty decent acceleration, so I know it could get away from it. If I was into anything else, and it was a competent MiG player, I'd be dead. Now, here's one thing you're going to have to learn about this jet. You're going to have to learn how to aim, and if you've been watching my other videos, which I normally take 20 minutes of fuel, if you watch my other minute or other videos, uh, I'm not very good with the guns. Now, there's a point in time to where I was doing the tapper. You would get behind a jet, you would tap your left click, and boom. And it will sink all of its rounds out relatively quickly. Wow, look, wasn't even hitting the uh, key to go when it was already going. Okay, so that is, I think, 9.0 there. Those are 8.7s. Wow, okay, we're going to dump on the enemy team. We have two Sea Vixens. Uh, lightning's 9.3? Okay, so there's gonna be some scary stuff out there. We did bring some rocket pods, like I said, stuff that's been added in. Those will be our flares. Yeah. Lightnings. So those things are extremely fast compared to us. Yeah, so we're not at necessarily a great matchmaker right now. Everything else seems to be within reason. So there should be, what, three three things that are about 9.0-ish area. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually accelerating quite fast compared to the other jets out there. That's what 20 minutes of fuel. I probably could have taken eight. It's been a little while since I pulled this out. It's probably been over a year since I've taken this out, thinking about it. But yeah, I mean, we are climbing up in speed quite well. I'll, next match, I'll probably take off the fuel. Yeah, it's going to make us a little bit heavy. I wasn't thinking. I was thinking it would burn a little bit quicker, like I said, but it's been forever since I played this thing. We don't necessarily want to climb high, but with MiGs, you can, and if you get behind people, it works great. The only thing I'm really worried about is some head-on radar missile uh, shenanigans. There's an 8.3 Vator that can do that. That is not fun. I can't remember if the Lightning... Lightning's Tech Tree, isn't it? Or is that the one, the premium that they brought out and took away and it had like 500 rockets built into it? Let's see here. I mean F6. I can't even remember. Like I said, I've got to get back to playing this. This is one of my favorite sabers. The first saber, the CL-13s, back when they first came out. Just insane. Talk about broken flight models and stuff back in the day. When you're 600 kilometers, 700 kilometers faster than anything else in the game. Yeah. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to get behind people and chase them down. That's what we're meant to do. The Sab 105s? Yes. Ooh, Su-7, that is 9.3. We don't have missiles, and I really don't feel like chasing him around. And they're actually quite maneuverable. Okay, we still got our air brakes. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get behind this 105, and we're going to try to pepper him with some really nasty cannon rounds and pray that nothing gets behind us and shoots a missile at us. There's the Yak-38s. Yeah, I was kind of figuring that. Uh, these guys do have radar missiles. Uh, we're locking up because 
Yeah. Over 800, we will lock up relatively hard. But you can see as our speed is dropping, our nose is coming down a little bit quicker. I want to make some wide turns here. Somebody coming in behind us. We're going to turn. There we go. Retract. And we're going to accelerate back up to 800 relatively quickly. Let's we'll have to slow down. I could probably swing back over there, but the best thing to do right now is just go for another target. There's a 105. He does have missiles. We don't want to turn extremely hard, because we will bleed a lot of speed. We are MiG. There's the Yak-38. And if you notice there, I did pop off some last-second rockets to try to divert that missile. Can we get some front cannons on him? We do. So that was good. And I just barely shot a few rounds, smacked him, and boom. And that's one thing you're going to learn to love, is when these rounds hit... They hit hard. Uh, that was a missile. I'm glad I had turned earlier. That's a 104. We have no chance of ever catching that. Maybe if we got him slow and use our keen acceleration to get behind him, but looks like we may have a chance. Yeah, you don't want to fire off a lot of rounds on this. Yeah, see, he goes so fast, but if he keeps turning like this... Yep, and there where he's going to use his massive engine to out accelerate us. Once he hits that deck, we have no chance of catching him. But he keeps wanting to turn, so I'm going to go ahead and preemptively turn. If I can trick him into coming down low with me, then we might have a chance to get a kill. So he's diving, but he's gaining a lot more speed, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Looks like he turned back over. We're going to keep going forward towards this F-86 here for a second. See what he's wanting to do. I think that G91 is going to keep him occupied. Alright, so we got an A4, which would be easy pickings. If that F86 is going down, we might have to do a head-on here, and that's not necessarily a good thing to do. Are we behind him? No, we're in front of him. And he got us. We did take the head-on, but we got a kill. I'll fix the fuel so you can see its flight performance a bit better, because that was really holding me back. I'm usually pretty bad about bringing extra fuel, so there is that. But as you can tell, we weren't really struggling that much. We were actually doing quite well for the BR that this was facing against. I shouldn't have taken the bait with the A4, but I was like, oh, that should be an easy kill. I just need to land one cannon round. I mean, you got a 30 millimeter and a 23 millimeter? Yeah. And pro tip, when you're landing and you got some ammo left, that can slow you down a decent bit too. Let's go back. We are subsonic. Got to remember that. Keeping our rocket load out. 23 and a 37. Yeah. I keep armored targets on there in case I want to go back hit ground targets back in the day. I mean, points is points, right? It's all about them points. I just love how it's got enough engine thrust to uh, go ahead and start pushing before it took off. We got up to you. This is not a spot we want to be in. But... You gotta take it as it comes. I'm still surprised the 104As are at such a low BR. And Deffen's got a video on it if you guys want to go over there and watch him. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a nasty video on it. So basically, you just take the cannon and you charge at people and force head-ons or try to get behind them and swoop. Because you're pretty much locked in just going forward very fast. And they're at a low enough BR, they really don't have to worry about radar missiles climbing up. Well, not good ones anyways. So, what are we doing in up tier? Play to our strengths. we got some makeshift flares. We know our flight performance is quite good. And now we have the proper amount of fuel. Our acceleration is really good. And now you're looking like, hey, those 104s just flew past you. Like, yeah, because they're like supposed to be like a 9.7. So, yeah, don't worry about those. And the advantage you have is you can turn. They can't. And if you ever catch somebody in a turn fight, they are going to regret it. So, we're probably going to want to sort of stay low and see if we can trick people into coming down to play at our BR, or not BR, <laughs> our level. So, the way the game has it is the lower you are to the ground, the more dense the air is. Missiles move slower. Especially helps knowing that with earlier missiles. The higher up in the air you are, the less dense it is, and the easier the missiles are going to move around, and for the most part, 
easier you're going to be able to turn and whatnot, depending on what your engines function at. What's their optimal altitude? But yeah, it's a little bit of knowledge. Basically, the game adds more drag to you the lower you are, less the higher you are. Unless you have an engine that's like, hey, you know, less air, less power. And then you start flopping around. There's a few jets like that. What was it that I was playing that works like that? Ah, I can't remember. B-57 went ahead and tickled that base. And now he's heading back to either A, drop on the base again. He may not have all his bombs just drop up once or his one load didn't take it out. So there's always that. I'm cruising around about our max speed. I think 1075. See our wings starting to shake, so we can't go much faster. We do have pylons on. They're going to slow us down just a little bit. There we go. He may be testing out his bomb loads. So there's that. We are fast enough to be in front of our whole team, which is a terrible thing. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I'm actually uploading another video right now. Oh, that's a great screenshot right there. I'll take it. You know how they give you the, uh, they take three slides of the, the film. Put in there. There's a G91. He cannot turn us. But if we get him into a turn fight, we can actually abuse him. You do get flaps, but like I said, flaps at this BR. What is this? Hey! MiG-15, buddy. I should have dropped air flaps earlier. And we're just going to go straight and accelerate. Yep. A little bit higher than he is, so we're going to start accelerating. As you can see, our makeshift rockets did help out there. He knows what I am. I know what he is, so we're kind of wanting to... Nope, nope, he goes down. Kind of hit each other. Sea Vixen's getting a little bit slow, but I think I can actually come up on that J-32B. Whew, I don't know what that is shooting at me. Hmm, that could have been a good hit. What is coming after me? Okay, nothing over there. J-32 is a little bit more maneuverable, but he doesn't have the acceleration to keep doing what he's doing. Or, I should say, energy. Now he does. I don't know, maybe that's what we're on. Thinking of something else, possibly. A-29. Got him. Sea Vixen does not have cannons. Critical hit. That's probably going to go down. Yep. It's got that wide tail wing, and he's not going to be able to control that very well now. So he's a sitting duck. Somebody else will more than likely kill him. That's all right. We don't have much cannon ammo left. I'm surprised that J-32 decided not to swing on me. I'm not going to fight that swift. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep going forward. That Sea Vixen, he's going to be faster, but he's spinning so hard right now. He's not going to be able to land, I don't think. How much fuel do we have? Four minutes? We can play around about the two-minute area. That G91 is really trying to vulture that kill, which is all right if he gets it, as long as he goes down, because that is a seal clubber. Why are you using missiles? So. Put on our air brakes, turn really hard, turn our air brakes off. I guess I turned him back on. Got another hit on him. And we are out of ammo. That's quite alright though. We've done everything we need to do for our team. And we're going to go back. Now there's another MiG-15 up there. I try to keep eyes on them too. My dogfighting skills are a little bit rusty in the MiG. Because you see just how much acceleration I have. Once I lose that speed, I'm getting it right back. Which is great. That's what it's supposed to do. Is that Sea Vixen still going? <laughs> Finally. Okay, let's get out of the furball. Let's go get ourselves some cannon ammo. If I would have been a little bit more self-controlled, self-paced on the cannons, trying to get the kills, it would probably have been a little bit better. But hey, we live through something that's pretty nasty. We were able to chase some people around, kind of force them off their targets, and... Cause some havoc. 
We're going back to the base quite fast. We're going to go for a little base over here. Yeah, once you get over 800, like right now, the turning, you can feel it. Like, you can feel it just doesn't turn that great. You drop below 800, or 800 and below, and you're good to go. What is this? Okay. AI, I was like, oh no. Yeah, it's really stiff right there, trying to roll it, and you can definitely feel how stiff it is. Granted, we only have two kills, but hey, those two kills put the game more in the favor of our team. Now look, we're already back up to 1,000. And this jet, like when uh, people are starting to say either grind the Russian tree or just anything that really has them, the German tree and the Russian tree has them. And I think the Q5 and the Chinese tree, get this and learn its guns, and that's going to help you out for all the other MiG variants. They're very slow velocity, but once you learn to get those on target, it's just a godsend. Okay, landing, landing. Coming in a little hot, and this is a dirt runway, so it's kind of short, but can we do it? Yes. And it does have a heavier airframe, so once you get on ground, you're going to be able to slow down pretty easily. We do the wobble. That's where I'm doing Q and E, trying to force out some of that airspeed. I did go ahead and hit I and turn off my engine, because that's what it's defaulted to. Uh, I may have to hit G and just drop the plane on its belly. The jet, I should say. Turn a little bit harder. So we want to be on the runway where we still repair every arm. Huzzah, Tokyo drifted there at the last little bit, but we did it. All right, MiG-15 Bissish down there in the bottom right, that is the premium one. And it does perform better by a small amount. It's got four pylons, I think, instead of two. And it gets this weird rocket loadout on it. They're actually angled downwards. Instead of being pointed forward on the wings, they're pointed down. And it's kind of neat. I love how just having the engine on pushes your jet forward. All right. So there's two MiG-15s out there, probably. And a Super Mystery B-2 bomber. Three, yep, and a J-32. The Swedish stuff around this tier, I'm not 100% confident in my knowledge with, because I they weren't here when I was playing this BR. And I've got to actually go back and actually play some of the Swedish stuff, so I'm just grinding through it. J-32 is down. All right, let's go back. Let's go over here to the right. So that is a bomber. I think that Mystery, the Super B2, is faster than us, I want to say, or has at least a better top speed. Do we have a 163 on our team still? Somebody said 163, you all right? And I was like, I don't see 163. No, there he is. Why? Um, I'm blind. No, legit, do y'all see that? It's not on the friendly list. Like, I don't see them here, but there's a 163 out there being chased by MiG-15. So, that's a conundrum for the 163. The 163 can accelerate really quick and turn really fast without breaking its wings. It has extremely limited fuel. He basically needs to get that MiG-15 either into a vertical or a sustained turn fight. And that's about all he can really do. I can't remember if the B-2 has got... Radar missiles. We're about to find out. We're going to climb a little bit. I think this jet performs best up to 3,000 meters. So. Uh, we're going to nose up. Oh, that B2. We may actually get a hit on him. All we need is a single hit. Uh, kind of flipped around. Yeah, he's going to out-accelerate me. We're going to... Uh, Go toward climbing. Let's see if he wants to come down and play. Or if he's going to stay up high. See, we got to stay below that where he's wanting us to play. We need to get back below down. 3,000. Looks like he is coming in to play. Going to accelerate. Turn. Accelerate. Here he comes. We want him to overshoot and not hit us immediately like he's about to do. Use my other fingers to get my. He's on our rear. We need to pull up. Accelerate. He's right behind us, so he's a bit more maneuverable than I thought, but we're down to where we can play. 
Air brakes on. Drop a little bit. Air brakes back in. Reaccelerate. So he's dropping speed with us, but our friendly's now here with us. I need that 163 to really get on him. Yeah. I think that is a 9.0 something. But hey, we got two air targets. I thought I could bleed his energy. But he's still going down, so we drug him down for the G91 to take advantage. Or was that a 160? It looked like a G91 behind him. But the 163 got some good hits on him. Probably going to take him out. Who do we have left on our team? Uh, those guys should be all right. But that was a fun match. Like I said, I'm still resting this thing. But hey, I got two kills. I'll take it. So the old MiG-15, still a very good aircraft. The German one has the best skin. You know, the skins help you get better kills. More kills, more RP. Not really, it's just something fun. Hey, what did we get? An order that I rarely ever use. So, MiG-15, BIS, same thing. And if they ever do bring back the BIS-ish, go ahead and pick it up. I mean, it's it's great. I might take the 262 out there. Uh, I haven't played them in quite a while. So, maybe my uh, Y2s. I haven't played them in quite a while either. But yeah, it's still an amazing aircraft. Still fun to me. You can still take it out and get kills with it. I've got to play with it. feels like it's a little bit stiffer now around 800 than it used to be. So maybe it's 600 now. I need to bring it under to get that super tight turning flight performance. But hey, I enjoyed it. I struggled a little bit. Maybe let's give you some insight to it if you're wanting to unlock this and play it. But until next time, guys, have a good one.